Meet Elizabeth Scott, a classic Hollywood actress whose little known facts and anecdotes might just fascinate you. Do you have a favorite moment from one of her works that left a lasting impression on you? Share your stories and memories about this Hollywood star in the comments below. But before you share, stay tuned, there are plenty of funny, shocking, and sad facts about this Hollywood figure coming up. Keep watching for more insights into the life and career of this legendary actress. What's your most special memory or personal experience related to Elizabeth Scott? Share it with us. Your anecdotes and insights can add depth to the narrative of this classic Hollywood figure. Let's celebrate the life and work of Elizabeth Scott together. Keep those stories coming. Born Emma Matzo on September 29, 1922, in Scranton, Pennsylvania, Elizabeth Scott hailed from a working-class family. Her early years were marked by tenacity and passion, navigating the challenges of life that eventually led her to New York City. During her time at the Albion School of Drama, Scott discovered her love for acting. The vibrant cityscape of New York became the backdrop for her talent to flourish, and her resilience laid the foundation for her future in Hollywood. Early influences, particularly the works of actresses like Betty Davis, fueled Scott's aspirations. The compelling storytelling and emotional performances of these actresses ignited a spark within her, propelling her towards the silver screen. Scott's entry into Hollywood involved numerous auditions and small roles. However, a pivotal moment occurred when she met Hal Wallace, a prominent film producer who recognized her potential and offered her a contract with Paramount Pictures. In the 1940s and 1950s, Scott rose to fame in film noir, portraying characters with mystery and allure. Her unique voice and presence set her apart in an era dominated by actresses. The roles she undertook, filled with complexity and depth, resonated with audiences and left a lasting impression on the cinematic landscape. Despite facing setbacks in Hollywood, Scott exhibited resilience reminiscent of her early years. She continued to contribute to the industry with unwavering dedication, showcasing the impact of passion and determination in the world of entertainment. To explore the life and career of this remarkable actress is to unravel a narrative woven with grit and talent from the streets of Scranton to the silver screen of Hollywood, a journey embraced with authenticity and met with success. Elizabeth Scott faced early career scrutiny for allegedly imitating Toyola Bankhead and Lauren Bacall Styles. Despite this, she evolved beyond mimicry, showcasing a distinctive voice and presence that set her apart in Hollywood. From the 1970s until her passing, she actively engaged in real estate development and volunteered for charities like Project Hope and the Ancient Arts Council of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Her commitment to philanthropy became a significant part of her legacy, going beyond her achievements in the film industry. In The Strange Love of Martha Ivers, she shared the screen with Barbara Stanwyck. Initially displeased with equal billing, Stanwyck later warmly embraced her in a Hollywood restaurant, highlighting the genuine camaraderie that developed despite initial industry rivalries. Beyond Hollywood's success, her later years revealed a person involved in diverse pursuits. Real estate ventures and charitable activities demonstrated a commitment to making a positive impact beyond the silver screen. Elizabeth Scott's journey from Scranton to Hollywood, marked by tenacity and passion, shaped her into a resilient figure in the entertainment world. The film noir era saw her portray characters with mystery and allure, leaving a lasting impression on cinematic history. Her story, filled with grit and talent, reflects the authenticity that defined her career. Elizabeth Scott's influence, extending beyond the glamour of Hollywood, serves as proof of the power of determination and passion in shaping a lasting legacy. Elizabeth Scott, renowned for portraying Coral Chandler in Dead Reckoning, was loaned from Hal B. Wally's company for this film, showcasing her versatility on the silver screen. In 1945, she was considered for lead roles in Love Letters and The Affairs of Susan, highlighting her standing in Hollywood during that time. During a 1996 interview, Scott shared insights into the rising popularity of film noir. She attributed it to a shift in societal preferences, stating that while her early film experiences focused on conventional romance, the 1940s brought a fascination with psychological complexities. According to her, film noir delved into the intricacies of human feelings, departing from predictable narratives, and bringing audiences closer to life's realities. Scott's observations shed light on the evolving cinematic scene and her role in adapting to changing audience preferences. 
Her presence in film noir, marked by mystery and allure, resonated with viewers and contributed to the genre's enduring appeal. As we explore Elizabeth Scott's journey, it becomes evident that her influence goes beyond Hollywood's usual narratives. Her ability to navigate various roles and genres, coupled with thoughtful reflections on the industry, showcases a profound understanding of filmmaking. In Scott's career, collaborations, considerations for prominent roles, and her insightful take on cinema paint a vivid picture of an actress who seamlessly adapted to entertainment industry shifts. Through her contributions, she left a lasting impression on Hollywood, embodying resilience and adaptability in the world of cinema. Elizabeth Scott's role as Coral Chandler in Dead Reckoning highlighted her versatility, having been loaned from Hal B. Wally's company for the film. This collaboration showcased her ability to navigate different genres on the silver screen. Notably, in 1945, she was considered for lead roles in films like Love Letters and The Affairs of Susan, emphasizing her standing in Hollywood during that era. In a 1996 interview, Scott shared insights into the rising popularity of film noir, attributing it to a shift in societal preferences. She observed that while her early film experiences focused on conventional romance, the 1940s brought a fascination with psychological complexities. Film noir, according to her, delved into the intricacies of human feelings, departing from predictable narratives and bringing audiences closer to life's realities. Scott's observations shed light on the evolving cinematic scene and her role in adapting to changing audience preferences. Her presence in film noir, marked by mystery and allure, resonated with viewers and contributed to the lasting appeal of the genre. As we explore Scott's journey, it becomes evident that her influence goes beyond Hollywood's usual narratives. Her ability to navigate various roles and genres, coupled with thoughtful reflections on the industry, showcases a profound understanding of filmmaking. In her career, collaborations, considerations for prominent roles, and her insightful take on cinema paint a vivid picture of an actress who seamlessly adapted to entertainment industry shifts. Through her contributions, she left a lasting impression on Hollywood, embodying resilience and adaptability in the world of cinema. Scott's sultry looks, which won her modeling assignments as a teenager, were just the beginning of a journey that saw her understudy Tallulah Bankhead before catching the attention of Paramount Studios. This led to a contract that paved the way for her Hollywood career. Her impact extends beyond the glamour of Hollywood, as evidenced by her involvement in real estate development and charity work, including volunteering for Project Hope and the Ancient Arts Council of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. In death, her ashes were entrusted to her longtime friend, Mary Goodstein, marking a personal connection that endured beyond the spotlight. Scott's journey from Scranton to Hollywood, marked by tenacity and passion, shaped her into a resilient figure in the entertainment world. The film noir era saw her portray characters with mystery and allure, leaving a lasting impression on cinematic history. Her story, filled with grit and talent, reflects the authenticity that defined her career. Scott's influence, extending beyond the glamour of Hollywood, serves as proof of the power of determination and passion in shaping a lasting impact.